Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do a general message for my Virgos that are dealing with a water sign, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe, it's very much appreciated, okay? Now, cross watcher, if you are in here and you're dealing with a Virgo, feel free to uh, flip the rolls, okay? All right, Virgos, I do hope that everybody is well. So that was, it wasn't me. So I don't know, Virgos, some of you are dealing with a liar, okay? Uh, anytime I see that it wasn't me card, right? It's almost like someone may have almost, almost concrete or very close to having some sort of concrete evidence on someone or I don't know, maybe you have a really strong gut feeling or your intuition has been telling you something. But what made me make that card, it wasn't me. It was very much related to the Shaggy song, right? And if you listen to that song, you will hear them saying things like, um, but she saw me on the counter or she saw me through the window or she saw me, you know, and, and then this is still somebody saying, no, you didn't see that. You didn't see that when you know you saw something with your own two eyes, right? So give me a card for now and a card for going forward. My Virgo is dealing with a water sign, a of Pisces or a Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy here? Show me. Hmm. All right, so coming out sideways is, any card that comes out sideways for me is a blockage. Let me see what the first card is. <laughs> so we have the only thing harder than letting go is moving on. So some of you, you may have a water sign here that is finding it difficult to let you go. Uh, for some of you, they may be finding it so difficult um, that they may result to some sort of spell work here. Because the card that came out sideways is the Magician. Now, the magician doesn't always talk about spell work. You know if you're dealing with someone who dibbles and dabbles in that ish, right? This can also talk about an energy of manipulation. So, what do we have? Virgo's dealing with a water sign. Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. One more shuffle. Now, if this was some sort of spell work, for some of you, this could have been like a love spell, okay? I just saw Cupid's arrow. I just saw only you. I saw or love. <laughs> okay, what's going on? Show me. Coming out sideways is a blockage. So you've got twin flames. It says yin, yang and balance. It says union and duality. It says complement. It says polar opposites. So maybe someone didn't want you to go towards your twin flame. But show me more. Yeah, wedding rings at the bottom of the deck. This could be someone that you are married to. Or like I said, maybe this is someone that caught you looking at some photos or something like that here. But it makes me feel like for some of you, someone here may have been trying to block you from, like I said, maybe going towards a, a certain union here. Or it could have been some sort of energy where someone here, they didn't want you to ascend. Show me going forward. Yeah, we have the backstabbing card. It says heartbreak and pain, separation and loss, deception and lies. It says shock and attack. What did this just come out for? I don't know if it just came out for Virgo's dealing with another earth sign or if it was Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. It was one of them because I haven't done air yet. So what is this? The only thing harder than letting go is moving on with twin flames. For some of you, this could be a same-sex relationship. doesn't have to be. Oh, let me do it. 
This definitely could have something to do. I don't know. Someone may have. Um, what did I? What are we on? Water. Okay, I just saw heavy Gemini energy. Scorpio with the tower. I saw the king of swords with the lovers, right? When I said heavy Gemini energy. I don't know if there is some sort of truth coming out about a third party, right? Um, but, but show me what this is. Virgo is dealing with a water sign. Cats, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Seven of swords. Whew. Okay. Show me more. The Nine of Cups almost in the reverse is coming out sideways. Like I said, I feel like maybe someone here was trying to block somebody from going towards some sort of wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups in the upright talks about your hopes and dreams. Or well, it talks about maybe you realizing what makes you happy. This is a very joyful, fulfillment, positive energy. It talks about satisfaction. It also talks about abundance, prosperity, and you achieving something. But coming out sideways. All right, Spirit, show me more. What's the Seven of Swords? The Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely some sort of deception here. The Seven of Swords can talk about, you know, a liar, a cheater. It can talk about the energy of trickery. So maybe something that somebody was saying because the Eight of Wands can talk about communication here, okay? But again, the Eight of Wands is that energy of somebody moving forward and things happening fast for you. But it's almost like somebody didn't want you to do that. Why did that night... I don't know why I'm seeing maybe something about a one night stand or something that maybe um, that was non-committal, maybe turning into something committal here. But you see, it's almost like it would break someone's heart if you was to offer somebody something. So nine of cups coming out sideways. Where goes dealing with a water sign, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, the Emperor. Somebody didn't want you to step into some sort of boss energy ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so for some of you i could be talking to masculines right it doesn't have to be but this could be someone that you have children with with the emperor coming out here what is the emperor the ace of cups and look at that the nine of cups with the ace of cups that makes the ten of cups here this is new beginnings, new relationships, new romance. This is happiness, joy. This can talk about a pregnancy. Wow. Show me more on that seven of swords. Two of cups in the reverse. Damn, I don't it's almost like somebody saying, but who would Okay. It's almost like somebody saying to someone, oh, no, let's say, right, you went and asked somebody, hey, you know, I don't know, this is what I'm saying. Why would you ask this person about another person? I mean, I guess, you know, it could be a friend or a family member. It could even if maybe someone went to a psychic or something like that here. But it's almost like going to this person and saying, you know what, well, what do you know about this person? Or if I went over to this person, you know, how would that work? And it's like them seeing that, oh, no, you would have happiness. You would have fulfillment. You would have abundance, right? Maybe even children or whatever, right? But they see that you would be happy and they purposely turn around and say to you, oh, no, that wouldn't work out for you. That would be a, 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 um, an imbalanced situation or, you know, that person isn't stable or whatever it is. It's, it's, I don't know what the purpose of it is. Somebody didn't want somebody to go towards their destiny. Look at that. The empress and the lovers. Ten of wands and the knight of pentacles. 
it's almost like somebody saying to someone, no, that situation would be a burden. So it kind of halts somebody in their movements. What is the Two of Cups in the reverse for the Seven of Swords? The Star card. Mm -hmm. Somebody tried to confuse someone here. It's almost like somebody knows that somebody going somewhere else would bring some sort of healing. But okay, what is this magician and the backstabbing energy for my Virgos that are dealing with a water sign, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio? Thank you. We've got the Knight of Cups. we got the Ten of Cups. We've got the Three of Wands. It's almost, that's just what I'm saying. It's almost like somebody knew that if somebody was to move forward, exactly what they will be moving forward into. We have the Five of Pentacles. What is the Knight of Cups and the Three of Wands? We have the moon coming out in the reverse and the five of cups coming out in the reverse. Now, someone definitely could be moving on anyway, right? Because they may see through this illusion. Because the five of cups in the reverse talks about moving forward. It talks about moving on. It talks about healing. It talks about rejoining the world. And then the moon in the reverse is that energy of releasing fear. And it talks about unveiling things, things that were hidden, seeing someone for who they are, for what it is that they were trying to do. What is the Ten of Cups with the Five of Pentacles? Because if this is an energy where maybe someone had children, or like I still feel like it's an energy of maybe somebody wanting someone to miss an opportunity, but what is the Ten of Cups and the Five of Pentacles? Because someone could also have been worried about somebody moving on and then maybe they're worried about their financial situation. Damn, Ten of Swords. We already have the word backstabbing out here. And we got it again. Backstabbing, betrayal, enemies, bad mouthing, bitterness, the energy of cursing somebody. So I don't know if someone here has experienced maybe some sort of illness um, of recently. Uh, again, it did show energy of maybe you recovering from that now. Now, uh, it makes me want to say, you know, for some of you, I don't unless it's happened already, okay. And like I said, maybe you're a little bit wiser now, but I don't know. Be careful of any drinks that you accept from anybody here with this Knight of Cups, Three of Wands. It's almost that energy of offering somebody something and waiting to see if it works. One more. Yeah, Five of Swords. Landed on that Seven of Swords. Something was an unwise choice. Someone here thought they were getting away with something, okay? But this is an energy of feeling defeated. Because like I said, it's almost like an energy. It's almost like they're showing me someone gathering back their strength and very slowly getting up and moving away. But moving away all the same. If someone here tried to self-sacrifice, self-sabotage a situation for somebody, this is underhanded behavior. This is I'll do anything. Like I said, I'll do anything. I'll say anything to get the outcome that I want. But that five of swords energy is when things are revealed, the moon reversed, right? That was an unwise choice. This is an energy of, uh, you know, like I said, a lack of communication, not telling somebody all of something, but very much telling them the opposite. This is an energy of bullying, intimidation, deception. Wow. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I don't know, somebody's seeing the truth now about some sort of betrayal. Okay. What is the energy in love, spirit? Virgo's dealing with a water sign, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Okay, so I am seeing worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. Oh, I see. Okay. Sorry, engagement, but give me one more. Worth waiting for. What is the energy here in love? Just out of curiosity. Thank you, Spirit. Reconciliation. And soulmate at the bottom of the deck. 
reconciliation somewhere. Three cards for this situation. My Virgo is dealing with a water sign, Cats of Pisces, or a Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. So it says signs and clues, yeah. It says the universe is talking to you. So pay attention. You have a workplace romance. Okay, it says common cause connection. So maybe someone started something here with somebody that they work with. Like I said at the beginning, I was like, well, why? I mean, okay, let me let it go. <laughs> it is what it is. And then you have, you are worthy. It says your worth doesn't depend on the other person. So for Virgos that are dealing with a cancer, give me three cards. Virgos dealing with a cancer. Thank you, spirit. I'm just trying to see. Okay. So we have bitterness and it says resentment, anger and hurtful words. You have confusion. It says uncertain, unclear, and unsure. Virgo's dealing with a cancer. Yeah, and then we have mistakes. It says misunderstood, victim, and lost soul. Virgo's dealing with a Scorpio. We have divine feminine. Hmm, but it's going to sit with bitterness here. So again, I don't know if someone here was, I don't know if the Scorpio is divine feminine. I don't know if you're the divine feminine or I don't know if someone here is bitter about a divine feminine. Okay. Virgo's dealing with a Scorpio. Also this Scorpio you could have children with. It could be your mother. Okay. Virgo's dealing with a Scorpio. So coming out sideways. It says, I don't know if I should take it in the upright or in the reverse. It says apology. It says forgiveness, return and sorry. So a Scorpio could want you to return here. But maybe you're confused about this Scorpio for some of you. Because maybe, like I said, maybe there is something about this person where you feel like it's uncertain or it's unclear or you're just unsure. Or maybe they're going to tell you that they were confused about something they did. Virgo's dealing with a Scorpio. In the reverse. In the upright it says ecstasy. It says chasing thrills. It says excitement and a good time. But it was in the reverse. So maybe someone here, you know, maybe it was exciting at first here. But with the mistake, maybe you feel like you made a mistake when it comes to this um, Scorpio, right? Maybe this you're dealing with a Scorpio who has some sort of, um, oh, I wanted to say victim consciousness about them, right? Maybe this is someone who's always playing victim or maybe they're a lost soul. I don't know. So <laughs> Virgo's dealing with a Pisces. Thank you. And one more. Thank you. Yeah, we've got confessions at the bottom of the deck. Ooh. So Virgo's dealing with a Pisces. You have sorrow. It says loss. It says grief and depression. Oh, for some of Virgos, a Pisces may be pining over you, right? Because they may realize that they lost a divine feminine. Some of you may be dealing with a Pisces that has a temper here. You also have past life. It says deja vu. It says repeated patterns and it says karmic lessons. So for some of you, a Pisces may want to come back towards you here to apologize to you. But be careful that they're not coming back to cause some sort of confusion here. Right. This is someone that you could have shared a past life with. You may have had to come back here to break certain patterns. So again, be careful of not repeating something. You also have conflict. It says clashing. It says differences and it says incompatibility. Mm. so maybe there is some sort of difference between you and this Pisces right 
I'm hearing for some of you, this Pisces may also be a twin flame. Because I think, because on this twin flame card, it does say, I think it says polar opposites, but I do feel like Pisces is your opposite in the zodiac sign. Okay. So give me two cards for going forward. Thank you, Spirit, for my Virgos that are dealing with a water sign. What is the energy here? Going forward. Hmm. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Why would somebody ask somebody about another person? you got to seek an expert. So I don't know if someone here was dealing with a water sign that was meant to be some sort of expert in something, but I don't know. Could be that energy of abuse of power. So the two cards coming out here going forward, we have clear the fog and then we have dare to be happy. So maybe, like I said, maybe some sort of clarification or communication is needed in some sort of a situation now that somebody sees clearly here. Like I said, someone was trying to stop somebody from having some sort of happiness, some sort of wish fulfillment, ten of cups. So, that is what I have. If anything has resonated with you in this reading, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But Virgos, cross watcher, if this is where we part, guys, stay safe, love and light.